I've been walking this mountain for over 30 years now. This is my favourite peak. When I had the opportunity to name an oil field, this seemed like the obvious place to, to name it after. It, it's a, an inspirational place, I suppose you'd say. Not only was I involved in, in discovering the field, but also uh, pioneering a technique which allows us to find so much more oil and gas in Shahalian. The other uh, interesting thing about Shahalian is this... The way I do that is I uh, interpret seismic data. Seismic data is a series of echoes of the seabed and the rocks beneath the seabed. Shahalian is uh, quite a complex field. It's split up in, like the mansion house, into um, different compartments, different rooms. What 4D Seismic does allows us to identify those rooms or compartments where we still think the oil and gas is remaining. Fundamentally, there's nothing like having printed out the seismic section and sometimes working it. If you print it out and you lay it out, you get people around. When you get the discussion going, you start sharing ideas, and that's when really things start developing very quickly. I'm standing in front of some of the uh, rock we actually acquired on the Discovery Well back in 1993. This is where the oil is actually kept, inside the fine grain, inside the, the rock matrix itself. I'm holding through the very first crude oil that was extracted from this discovery well. It's hard to read because it's weathered after 20 years. Roll on 400 million barrels later, another 450 million barrels to go. This is the first uh, 20 mils or so. You can get so far with your own understanding, with your own experience. I can tell you it's so much benefit from sharing your ideas with other people. Um, my part of the pyramid, if you like, is when I have that moment of intuition. It's one thing to have the data, but it's another thing to have a, a moment of insight. You go, ah, there could be something there.